Hello data leaders, I am back with the new repo that I was talking about. This repo contains the necessary data and the code for the series of presentations I will be giving, the videos that I will be sharing in the near future. For this particular video, we are going to concentrate on this file called Boto Session Creation. This we, file will help me to demo the session creation process by executing the Python code directly on the Jupyter environment. Yeah, you heard me right. I will be demoing, demonstrating the connect session in, uh, establishment in the Jupyter environment. This is a Jupyter notebook. If you are not aware of what is Jupyter notebook or not used it, it's okay. I will be explaining the process. How, how to install it and how to open the Jupyter notebook in your own operating system. Before that, let me tell you how to get this repo onto your hard drive. In order to get your repo onto your hard drive, you have to either use the git client and clone this repo by using this link or you can just download the repo uh, by clicking this link and getting the zip file. Once you get the zip file or the repo, you have to go to the folder where the data of the repo is. Let me right now show you how to work with the folder right now. Let me go to the command. I have already downloaded the repo and I have kept it in my folder where I keep all my git repos. In that I keep, I have kept the folder, kept the repo name and the repo name is S3 Warehouse Playbook. If you look at, we have to change into S3 Warehouse Playbook and if you list the directory, ls is the command in Linux for listing the directory. In Windows it will be dir. If you list the directory, you will find the directories, the folders there, AWS documents and Jupyter books. If you see that this folder is are is same as what you find in my repo, AWS documents and Jupyter books. This is not a coincidence because it is this uh, entire repo has been downloaded into your local drive. So that's why you are seeing that it is uh, it is expected. If you don't see that, that will be a problem. So you have to check whether the repo has downloaded properly or you are in the right directory. Next thing which you have to do is you have to execute this command Jupyter Notebook. This will start the Jupyter server. Once you click enter, once you press enter after this uh, Jupyter Notebook command, it will start the server. The Jupyter Notebook server will allow you to execute the Jupyter Notebooks. The Jupyter Notebooks, what I'm telling is reading files dot from s3.ipynb. This ipynb is Jupyter Notebook extension. It can only open in Jupyter Notebooks. The Let me go to the terminal right now. Uh, you can see that the terminal has already spawned the server. You will see a link like this. Click on the link by pressing the control key. You have to press the control key down in your keyboard and click this link. That will open, that will actually open the Jupyter server. This is actually a Jupyter server which has opened as a website. So if you click here, you will see all the files inside that. And you can click on any of these files and that will again open the notebook in a separate tab. So right now it is open in a separate tab. You can see that spawning a new tab and uh, you will see all the code, the Python lines that I have spoken, that I have already written for demo purpose. The First and foremost step is you need to import all the libraries that are required. We will be importing AWS Wrangler, Pandas, Boto3, Warnings and Config Parser. If any of these libraries are not installed, what will happen is it will this execution will throw an error. It will say the module is not found. How to execute? So this 
uh, gray box that you see is called a cell in Jupyter Notebook. In order to execute this, you either use the run command at the top or another option is to use control enter shortcut key. On your keyboard, you press control enter shortcut key like so. You will see the number change here from 2, it will change to 3. So it means it has executed. If it doesn't change and if it's errors out, then you will see the error at the bottom. Let me show you how the error will be. So I am making an intentional mistake. I am executing it and you see that module not found because there is no module called as warning. So you have to correct it. In case uh, there is other errors like module not found config parser or AWS Wrangler, then execute this code line of code, this cell basically, you will get the libraries installed in your local uh, environment. Once you execute uh, uh, this cell without any error, then come to the second cell and execute and create the config parser object. The line here, the command here will create the config parser object and it will assign it to credence variable in Python. After that, you need to open the credentials.config file. The cell execution will throw an error because in your environment, you will not find credentials.config file because this file contains the access keys that is secret to myself. So I have not shared it with you. You can create your own credentials.config file based on the example.conf file. You can see the example.conf file here. You have to just use that. Put your uh, access key here. Put your secrets and your region here. After that, change the name to credentials.config. All this step has to be completed. After that, you will see credentials.config file in this area, in your operating system. Then come here and execute this code again. This time the code will execute and credence config parser object has read your file. The next cell will assign your key, secret and region to the respective Python variables. Here we see AWS key, AWS secret and region. Now after this execution, it will contain your secrets. I will not know, you will also not be able to see it, but the Python environment will be knowing the values. This will be useful when we create the Boto3 session. How to create the Boto3 session? Session in this case is an object again. It is an object that has been programmed by AWS guys and it takes three important parameters. How to find those parameters? You have recently installed this Boto3 library and you don't know anything about the various functions, classes and uh, methods that are available inside this module. How can you find out? One way is to watch videos like this. After that also, when you are going to practice, if you don't recollect what are the parameters, how to find out? The easiest way is to create open and close bracket like this and in on your keyboard press shift tab if you press shift tab it will show the initialization signature or the function signature like this if you see here this value the access key id access key secret session token all these are the parameters that the uh, class initiation takes you can see the doc string that has been uh, written by the developers and uh, the overall details what it will does, does etc is also provided. Next, you create the session by providing all the access key secret etc. If you execute this cell, it will execute even if your cell is wrong, even if even if you don't give any of the creden credentials, it will still execute and it will say the region name is US East 1. In order to find out whether the session between your Python, this Jupyter Notebook environment and the AWS server has established, you need to test the connection. In order to test the connection, we are going to use AWS Wrangler. We have imported AWS Wrangler as WR here. 
the same way i explained here we can find out all the necessary details of wr aws wrangler methods classes etc by using shift tab which i already done here and i'm going to just execute this cell and you, you i will get an error okay in my case i have kept my keys activated so i did not get any kind of error in your case if the key is not activated then the client error will occur which means either you don't have the access keys or the access keys that you provided is wrong or you have made some mistake in typing the access keys or in that way there is some mistake in the access key once you correct that and do this execute this cell again you will see the list of buckets like this list of buckets yeah s3 buckets if you are not aware of what is s3 bucket you have not opened any s3 buckets in your aws account then you will see a empty list it is good that's not a problem if you have not opened any s3 buckets you can't expect any uh, buckets to be listed here that's correct again if you are not aware of what is s3 bucket what is the purpose of it we will we will de delve into it much deeper in coming videos in the next video i'll be explaining how to make this s3 bucket as your data warehouse in fact it is the objective of the series of videos that you use aws as if it is your local computer it is as if it is your own local linux computer that is the intention of this videos so i am going i am trying to explain all the necessary uh, parameters or uh, variables necessary variables that can actually stop you from uh, getting the session so uh, any of the other problems you are facing like if you are unable to open the jupyter uh, environment if you are unable to uh, get any of the code executed all the uh, errors can be resolved by looking at the internet and searching for searching for the answers in stack overflow i extensively use stack overflow however always feel free to connect with me through comments or through other means that i have shared in the description i'll be ready to help you out whenever i look at the comments and uh, in the future also as i am going to explain the videos complete the series of videos you will find whatever doubts you are getting in this video might be solved in the next videos so continue watching all the videos so that any error or any doubt you get might get solved in the next or coming videos with that i would just like to recap we started importing the libraries we opened before that we opened the jupyter notebook we started importing the libraries into execution environment we created config parser uh, library uh, config parser class object we read our credentials file then we assigned our credentials to python variables and then we started creating our boto session we tested and verified that our session has been established with aws thanks for watching stay tuned for next videos see you data leaders